Hey YouTube, it's Bobby with KCA Ranch and Homestead. Been a while since I put some video to a project, so let's take a look. I'm building a pig pen for two red wattle hogs that are coming soon. Um, down here, you see the uh, see the new house build up there. It's about 85% through just finishing out the inside uh, quail cages out there swimming pool on the deck whale house cabin rabbits chickens garden and the rest of the about 20 ish acres out that way anyway uh, building this hog pen. It's 101 degrees, I believe. Probably more than that down here in this creek bottom. Just driving in some T-post by hand with the old T-post driver. Fun, fun, fun. Luckily, I'm in a shady spot. I picked the spot because it holds water for the hogs to root around in. And it's got about 95% shade during the day. It's got a few little spots of direct sun at noon. Already got our pig shelter built for a little shade and rain protection. It's not in the right place. I just got it over here. Got our pig water, water, pig nipple on it. Um, I've got eight cattle panels. Um, well, they're a multi-purpose livestock panel. They get smaller down at the bottom for pigs and such but they are 50 inches tall they're not the standard hog panel which is i believe 36 or 32 um anyway it is not going to be square because um, i have one extra panel and i have a four foot gate so going to be kind of a trapezoid, rhombozoid, android, I don't know what you call it. I took informal geometry, so don't hold me to those shapes. But uh, anyway, I'm trying to incorporate as much shade and trees as I can. I'm going to be going around those trees, right around these trees, coming over here. And tying into this corner right here. I've already set this corner. Uh, anyway, we're just getting some poles knocked in. I'm getting uh, one side, and then I'll check back in with y'all after I get some more done. Thanks for following along. Hey, folks, it's day two of the pig pen build. It is brutally hot, especially so if you're a fat boy. Um, I was referring to myself, not you. Uh, I'm actually in the shade over here, and it's still got to be well over 100. Uh, I've got on some little wet, cool rag that my wife made me wear. Um, getting some progress done. I ran into some tree roots and some really hard dirt, surprisingly, over here in this really soft, sandy loam soil. Um, but I do have one, two, four panels up, which doesn't sound like a lot, but... Um, the ground is very uneven. I've been trying to trench it a little bit with a hoe or a shovel just to keep the panels from buckling in the middle whenever I stretch them. Uh, slow process, especially when you got to drink a half gallon of water every hour or so. But uh, let me show you what I got. Let's see if I can flip this thing around. All right, this panel's just leaning up here just for so I'll know where it goes. And I don't know if the gate's going to go in this corner. Probably in this corner. So I'll have a better access coming in here with a trailer or whatever to back up to it to load hogs if I need to. Uh, so anyway, I got that 16-foot panel. And you can tell when the ground's uneven because the panels don't line up. Um, horizontally uh, so I'm overlapping them on a six inch square for the most part 
uh, where they overlap, the T-post clips won't fit like a normal T-post clip. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I don't have the patience, so I just use doubled up. I think it's uh, 14 gauge wire doubled. And uh, put the sharp pokies to the outside so the pigs don't cut themselves. But over here I'm using the regular T-post clips. Uh, so I got, like I said, 16 foot, 16 foot. And I lost a foot by giving six inches off of each panel on the overlap. So really 31 foot on that side. Dang, I remembered some math. Uh, corner post, I'm still not sure how I'm going to do this. I don't like the way this panel is on the outside. And the pigs are going to be pushing on it. So I'll probably put another panel here. I mean another T-post here to support this one and just kind of wedge that panel in between the two T-posts. Um, like I said, I'm putting these at about the halfway mark. I need to come back and do some, some work on these clips and make sure they're tight. And here's where it gets tricky because I've got a low spot, wash out, whatever, and the ground goes down and then it goes back up. So when I tried to push the T-post down into the ground, to close up that gap right there it makes the uh makes this buckle out or in and it just didn't work right so i'm gonna leave it up and then i'm gonna either put some some treated wood down there and kind of attach it to the fence or just uh pile some clay in there and pack it down with my tractor or something i'm also planning on having a hot wire on the inside so Anyway, I'm gonna run up this hill. I got this post here done. And now I'm at a corner. So what I'm gonna try to do, I know this film job sucks. So this is gonna be here. And then I'm gonna try to run right up against that tree to add a little more stability and to include this shady area. It will be shady here in a minute. The sun's right overhead um, and then I'm gonna run two panels this way so I'll have a attached to the tree with some staples or something or some wire and then I'll have a post here where these two panels join up I'll come here this will be another corner it's gonna be a very odd shaped pin like I said uh, yesterday, it's gonna be like a rhombozoid or a freakazoid. I can't remember the shapes from informal geometry at Conroe High School. I'm gonna run this way to incorporate this little shady area. I think they'll eat a lot of that crap. Have a corner here. And then I'm gonna cut this way back to in here and then have the four foot gate right here so get a better bird's eye view it's going to run from around here to there back to there over to there around the trees come back to here and have hopefully have the gate probably right there and then i'll set the water and the uh, shelter up and then figure out a feeder run the hot wire on the inside with a fence charger and call it done um, i'm still debating on whether running water line i've got water ran right over there to that deck where you can see that cattle trough swimming pool i've got a water line right there i've got water lines in the garden right there so i'll probably roll it off with a rolling measure tape measure and see which one's closer or i may just use my tractor bucket fill up my tractor bucket and drive it over here and uh, pump it into the into the water barrel or uh, use my tractor bucket to make them a uh, what do you call it a wallow or something anyway i don't know what i'm gonna do like most of my projects i just wing it but those are the best kind I really appreciate y'all watching. Talk to you later. Well, let's take a look at what we got. 
This is going to be the one of the gate posts right here. Got it about 20 inches deep, I believe. It wasn't too bad once I broke through the roots. Daisy pulled up some roots for me. Good girl, Daisy. Daisy? Good girl. Anyway, so I've got some of these posts look crooked, but they're not. I put levels to them. It's just the way that the uh, terrain is running downhill or uphill. If I ever do this again, I will make it an even number of panels instead of an odd number and just make a square or rectangle. But trying to follow these trees and terrain, not fun. I've still got to do something with all these openings. Well, not all these openings, a couple openings. I believe this is nine 16 foot cattle panels. So I've got a middle T post to put right here, two gate posts over here, hang the gate, and then start working on the fine details of feed and water and a wallow. I'm getting some water ran from a couple hundred feet from up there by the quail. Thanks for watching. So there's our there's our new pole that they put in with a new transformer because we're building a house down there and it's gonna have separate service than the buildings up here. But anyway, they laid this telephone pole, utility pole down. And what I did was uh, I measured off about six foot, a little over six foot, I think 73 inches and cut up two pieces with the trusty uh, steel chainsaw. Didn't feel like using anything more precise and it worked just fine. Of course, I had to take off some 10 year old signs. But uh, anyway, I don't have an auger for my tractor, uh, a post hole digger. So the next time you see me may be in the hospital. So prayers up folks. Thanks for watching. So I used a half inch auger bit, auger, wood auger thing, drill bit, spade bit to get that hole. And this is about um, uh, seven eighths maybe. So it's gonna be a tight fit, but that's good. All right, I got the gate hung on that post. That post is very solid, very pleased with it. Got the hole dug for the second post, about 21 inches deep. It looks a little lower than that one, but that's because of the slope to the ground. But I did want it in the ground about 21 inches, 20 to 21 inches, and that's what I got. Um, so I got the gate rigged, so it's going to hit this so the pigs can't open it by pushing it open with just the chain or whatever. And then this last panel is gonna be attached with staples, just like this one is. So that's about it, guys. Um, finishing up this, I'm get, getting the dirt wet, making a little mud and Tamping it with my little tamping board all the way around, two or three inches of dirt, and then adding more. By the time I get through, hopefully it'll be rock hard.
appreciate y'all following along. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm quickly approaching a thousand subscribers, which is the minimum needed to apply for monetization. Not that I'm going to make any money off of this. And most of my videos are probably going to be blocked anyway from monetization because they involve killing critters or butchering critters or hunting. But please subscribe and like if you don't mind. Thanks. And there she is. Got the second post in. Solid. Got my chain attached to the pole. The staple. Sorry, how to do this one handed. So, as you can see, if the pigs are pushing on the gate, it's not going anywhere. And I got this panel attached with staples. And I am going to reinforce each of the corners just because of the way the panels overlap. I don't like it. It's only being held on. The outside panel is only being held on by the wire. So I got a T post set up at each corner. And then I got to track down my piglets. I got two different buyers. I want to see which one's got one I'm looking for on the red wattle hogs. Gotta love this country CrossFit, 25 miles from the nearest gym. So this is all I got. Thanks for tuning in.